We've got around 11 weeks to prepare uh, for what is a, a tough uh, championship season and we're looking to start off in a general approach, making sure that all their basic physical qualities, their strength, uh, their aerobic capacity, um, also their resilience to injury and their skin folds are where they need to be and then allowing them to spend time with the coaches in order to improve their rugby skills. We look at what kind of condition do we want to be in for the start of the season and we plan back from that. Uh, so really in terms of the month of August is the pre-season games so that's really a, a lot of rugby time there. Uh, we'll look, to, uh, look at some of our assess our strength levels in that month uh, but then in the first block that we're in at the moment that's predominantly we're looking at to improve our aerobic capacity we're looking to improve our, our general strength in terms of our volume of strength work we do, correct any muscle imbalances, looking at some technical work in terms of our speed development and really looking to reduce any unwanted fat and improve our cardiovascular work for those that can't quite yet run in terms of their condition that they are in. The block in between is quite specific, so we'll look at things like conditioning games, more time with the rugby coaches, a little bit more wrestling work and integrating it all together into the rugby program. You can't really move away too far from the basics and, and to get stronger uh, you need to lift weights and to get fitter for a running game you need to run. So in its simplest terms rugby is a running game and especially with our surface at uh, Ealing we want to play a high tempo uh, quick game so the players need to be aerobically fit, they need to be able to have uh, very good running quality. So yeah they will be doing running and we will be pushing weights but obviously there's lots of things that go in and around that such as their skill work, their nutrition, any type of contact condition we do in terms of any wrestling work. So there's lots of other little things that go in and around that. We've got players that have come from differing backgrounds as well, some that have been in the championship for a while, some that have come from uh, university or, or, or a step below the championship. So there's lots of different levels. The challenge there is to, to bring them all up to the same level or to improve them in the areas that will make the biggest difference to them and to do that within the time that we have.